What we've learned in, in recent years is that, is that vitamin D has effects beyond just simple uh, bone health. Uh, it, uh, particularly in the, in the elderly, it affects uh, uh, muscle strength, so it decreases uh, rates of falls. There are receptors for, for vitamin D throughout the entire body. Uh, many cells, uh, many organs uh, throughout the entire body have vitamin D receptors, and, and we're just beginning to learn about uh, all of its effects, but at least from basic science, it, it appears that it has a, a potentially uh, a cancer prevention effects, uh, effects on the immune system. And there are uh, observational data from, um, uh, from human studies showing associations uh, between um, higher uh, levels of vitamin D in the body and uh, lower rates of, uh, of cancer, uh, heart disease, and uh, among some other uh, conditions. Our own research has, has really looked at the, the impact of, uh, of vitamin D uh, deficiencies on uh, disparities between uh, African Americans and whites, because Af African Americans have darker skin. Um, they produce uh, less vitamin D uh, in response to the sun, because the sun has more difficulty uh, getting through darker skin. Uh, so rates of, uh, of low vitamin D are much more common in African Americans. And at least in observational data, it appears that these low levels also contribute um, to higher rates of cardiovascular disease and even, even colorectal cancer among African Americans. There are recommended daily allowances for, for vitamin D, and, and most of these recommendations have been based on what's needed, uh, on what's known to be needed to ensure adequate bone health. And these tend to be very low, so about 200 uh, international units uh, for children, adolescents, and young adults. Uh, and then for uh, older adults, those 50 to 70, 400 international units. And for those uh, 71 and over, 600 international units. But with uh, new evidence emerging that vitamin D may be uh, helpful for other conditions besides bone health, um, there's a lot of interest in re-examining um, what the uh, what really adequate amounts of vitamin D in the diet are, are needed. So certainly, for those of us who live in Rochester, where it's a higher latitude and where uh, rates of vitamin D deficiency are actually quite high, um, it may not be possible to get uh, uh, to achieve adequate vitamin D levels. Uh, in the, in the blood just by going outside, particularly given the, the, uh, the cloud le uh, level. We're all very anxious to see what the, what the recommendations are going to be in terms of uh, what, those, uh, what adequate daily levels will be, and it's very likely that uh, supplementation may be needed to really achieve, achieve uh, adequate levels. I think physicians are already attuned uh, to the high rates of, of, uh, of vitamin D deficiency, and many have actually begun actually testing testing their patients. Uh, I understand that in Rochester this has become quite uh, quite common. I I think that with the new recommendations coming out, hopefully uh, there will be a bit more evidence uh, behind actually testing and then deciding on uh, exactly how much to recommend to patients.